Hi there, welcome to Card Cutters, the show that brings you the future of television today. On this episode, we're taking a closer look at the Netgear Neo TV, also known as the NTV200, if you want to get technical. That's a relatively new device from Netgear I have on right here. It's a remote control with the device. And essentially, it tries to do something similar to the Roku player. It's a pure online player that streams content from the internet, gets you Netflix, YouTube, a bunch of other good stuff straight on your television. Is it as good as a Roku? Is it better? Let's take a look. So first of all, a few more details about this player. Originally, I think it was supposed to sell for about $100. I've seen it mostly for around $70 recently, and this is it. Essentially, very similar to a Roku player in size. Uh, if you look, take a look at the back, you have your Ethernet port, your HDMI port, optical audio out, and power, and basically that's it. There is no USB, nothing else because it's pure internet, no local content playback. Then you have your remote control, which is a little more complicated. It has your D-pad, your OK button, and then a bunch of colored buttons and playback and stuff like that. But what I like about this remote is that it's fairly slim, fairly, uh, it, it feels good in your hand. It actually doesn't feel as cheap as the remote controls from some of the competitors. Moving on to the apps that this player offers you, it displays them here in um, kind of a grid, I guess. Neo TV branded, and it offers some of the, the big apps that you want to have, that you need to have. There's your Netflix right here. There we go. There's your Netflix. There's your Cinema Now if you want to get VOD content. There's also Voodoo, uh, and interesting about this is it's 1080p video playback, and it also offers 5.1 surround sound. So if you have a home theater system, you can play Voodoo content here with full surround sound, which is nice. It also has a YouTube player which is a nice uh, change from Roku, which until now still doesn't have a YouTube player. And then it has Pandora and a bunch of other stuff. So what does the Netgear Neo TV offer? Aside from those big players, the big apps, the Netflixes and the YouTubes, well, it has a bunch, I think a couple hundred actually of other apps. And uh, just to give you a quick idea, it has them here in categories. So you have movies and TV content. You have news and education with stuff like TED. Howcast, CNN, uh, Web TV, so your break, your Blip TV, Next New Networks. And uh, actually, if you go to Lifestyle, just to take a look at one of those apps, and uh, I guess also have a little bit of a disclaimer or full disclosure, it also has a Giga MTV app. But if you take a look at these apps, what is similar to many of them is that they are powered by Flingo which is a web TV provider, an, an app platform provider that's available on many TV, uh, connected TVs nowadays as well, on, on the WDTV devices. And essentially on the WDTV, for example, it has all their content from different providers, from us, from others, within a single Flingo app. Here it has split all those apps. You have dozens and dozens or hundreds actually of apps, but they all look very similar essentially what I would call podcast apps. So video podcasts that are available online, now you can get through separate apps here, which is nice, but not terribly exciting. There's not a lot of exclusive content here. And essentially you can get most of this content as well through um, the Flingo app on your WDTV player. You can get it through some sources, most of it anyway on the Roku box. So it's not terribly unique. It's just that they split it up. They have a couple hundred apps and they all kind of look like this. And uh, I would imagine you end up using just a few of those. Now, what's missing from this player? Well, for one, I already mentioned, it doesn't play any local content. There's no USB port on it. There's no way to stream anything over your local network. So if you want to play even your home videos or if you want to play stuff that you have downloaded from the internet, this is not the player for you. Another thing that is notably absent is Hulu Plus. If you have a Hulu Plus subscription, or if you're thinking about if this would be a reason to get a device like this, also, right now at least, not the right player for you because Hulu Plus is absent from this. And with that, I have to say, I can't really recommend this player to many people right now because it seems like if you are really interested in online content only, if you want to mostly get your Netflix content, then Roku is a better choice. It starts at a cheaper price point, and it actually has Hulu Plus, which is a big advantage. Uh, and if you also want to play local content, I would recommend the WD player over this because it plays all of that plus most of the Flingo stuff that you will find on here. It's a little more expensive, but it might be money well, well spent. 
And yeah, it is a nice player, the Netgear Neo TV. It looks nice, it has a bunch of apps, but a lot of this is kind of podcast content, which may be interesting to a few people, but doesn't really replace a cable TV subscription. And so with that, I would say, look for something else or wait a little bit until they revamp it and maybe get a little more content. So yeah, I don't like it, but maybe you disagree. Maybe you own it and you wanna send me a comment why I'm wrong. Or maybe you've been thinking about buying something else, you have some questions. Well, send us all your comments, all your questions, all your thoughts to cordcutters at gigaom.com. We always love to hear from you. You can also go to our website, gigaom.com slash cordcutters and you will find links to all our online presences on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Google+. There, plus the recent episodes, card cutting news, everything you want. Check it out, and otherwise, I'm gonna see you next time.